Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making a mirrored coffee table. Today I'll be combining these two boxes to create one. If you have a box that's wide enough already, you can skip this step. I wanted this project to be cheap as possible, so I used things that I already had around my house. One box is also bigger than the other, but by the end of this video, you will not be able to tell. Look at this hole, oh lord. We're gonna fix that though. This box is a hot damn mess. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what I was gonna do with it. Okay, by the way, so before I started making um, this table, I already pre-cut about 10 cardboard pieces to fit the table um, so I measured it with my glass that I was going to put on top so I did about 10 of those so I could go around the box because basically what I'm going to be doing is going around the box and covering everything with extra cardboard to give it more height and to make it more sturdy and by the way you do not need a stapler for this I was just being extra all right, so I'm doubling up on each side with cardboard. Um, you, you could probably just do one, but I had that big behind hole, so I had to do something about that. Like I said, I pre-cut these boxes, um, and I'm going to be going over the sides also and cutting them. And as you can see, I went over each edge with tape. And I also took the box outside and sprayed the sides with silver spray paint just in case they show. Alright, now all the labor is done and now it is time to decorate. I'll be using E6000 glue and these three mirrors that I got from Let Go. This woman was selling 14 mirrors for $10 and I think that is a deal. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter with hot glue also just because it dries quicker and it'll hold it in place. Another thing to keep in mind while you're doing this is to leave some of the frame on the edge of the box so when you come around to the other side you can tuck the other mirror frame into this mirror frame so it looks more like a table and I'll explain to you um, what I mean by that. So on this side I had to improvise because obviously three mirrors wouldn't fit so I took one mirror out of the frame and I'm just gonna put the other two on top but you see how the frames are sitting you can see the frames that I previously glued they're sitting up a little bit more I'm gonna take this frame and I'm gonna tuck it into that So I got these little mirrored cube square sticker bajiggies, I don't know what they're called, but I got them from the 99 cent store. I got about 8 packs of them uh, to go all around my table because this is the main decor that I'm going to use. And also as you can see I spray painted in between the mirrors just because I didn't know if anything was going to show on the sides so I just did that just in case. So I'm just putting the mirrored um, glass wherever I see fit. And by the way, be, be careful when you're applying this stuff because I cut myself twice. This stuff is really sharp. All you have to do with this project is improvise. You don't need to go to Lowe's and cut mirrors. I legit just found a picture mirror. There's this mirror hanging on my wall in a frame and I took it out of the frame. And I used that for the top of my table and I just got some 
mirrored frames. And that was all I needed for the project. I didn't need anything to exactly fit perfectly because I was gonna make it work regardless. So I also bought this other ribbon to put on the bottom of the table. And that should finish up the long side of the table. And next we're gonna be going to the side of the table. my top of the table with E6000 glue and I'm going to go around the perimeter with my hot glue gun and just do a coat around the perimeter so it can dry quicker. Um, and remember I said this was a mirror hanging on my wall. This wasn't even a mirror. I, I didn't go to Lowe's or Home Depot or cut any mirror. This is something that you can do on your own. You can go to the thrift store and buy yourself a mirror. It doesn't matter. And I'm placing these heavy objects to keep the glass down. Okay guys, so you don't have to do this, but my mirror was sitting in a frame and it left a mark. So I'm going to go around the edges with the crest, diamond crest. And that'll be my last touch. I'm not going to lie, I will key shocked myself when I realized what I made. This is amazing. I love this table. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and thank you for watching.